Hey, what's up guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of this week's episode of Vikings on the History Channel. This can be seen Season 4, Episode 17, which is called The Great Army. And I want to apologize for the lateness, but you know, with our work and then also trying to watch other shows and uh, different things about nature, uh, it was unfortunately a little bit delayed. But I did just watch the episode right now, and uh, overall it was a pretty good one, you know? Um, Definitely not the strongest of the uh, second half of the season so far, but it, it was really sort of a definite calm before the storm episode, um, just sort of uh, a little rest before, you know, hopefully, hopefully a good shit hits the fan next week, um, you know, with them uh, finally invading uh, and going after King Ale and uh, Eckbert and stuff like that. I'm just looking forward to that. But this episode was a, you know, a fine setup episode, you know. Um, we did get some moving pieces in this one, of course, with Ivar and, you know, the other sons of Ragnar. Um, you know, sort of debating about how to handle Lagatha, really, you know. Like, uh, of course, Ivar is just obsessed with uh, getting revenge on her and killing her. Whereas the other ones are sort of a little bit more... Uh, not quite as driven to do it, I guess. Um, like one of the sons, you know, he doesn't feel quite as motivated to do it. And, and yeah, I, I don't remember each and every one of their names, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, one of the other sons, he doesn't feel quite as motivated to do it because uh, Aslog, Aslog, she only gave uh, Ivar, like, uh, a good amount of attention, and even that's kind of debatable. <laughs> um, but uh, Aslog did, did give Ivar the most attention, whereas with the others, they sort of feel a bit neglected. They sort of seen Aslog as uh, cold and uh, only caring towards Ivar and uh, Harvard. Um, Harvard, I mean, uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't pronounce or uh, remember names right now, apparently. But, you know, Kevin Durant's character, you know, who we haven't seen in a while, you know, in a, back in a season or two ago. Um... You know, so they still try to force a situation where uh, Ivar does confront Lagatha, and it does. You know, one of the sons uh, surrounds her from her backside, whereas uh, Ivar is, you know, staying at her front. Um, it was kind of an odd situation because, like, am I supposed to buy that these two could legitimately take down Lagatha? You know, she. I think she was seen as, like, the second most skilled and uh, strongest warrior only to, like, Ragnar, you know, she was, like, right up there with Rolo and Ragnar, you know, throughout the series and such with her actual strength and, uh, you know, ability as a warrior. Um, and while, uh, Ivar is shown to be lethal, but he still have his, has, like, an obvious uh, handicap, of course, and then, you know, with the son who uh, Lagatha sort of uh, sees as like a younger version of Ragnar because he does sort of resemble Ragnar back in season one. Um, I, I just don't realistically see like even both of them together being able to take Lagatha down, so I feel like it's going to have to be like an arrow shot or something like that. I don't know. Um, I know so, for some reason people, there are people who don't like Lagatha and I don't really get it. <laughs> Um, to me, she's the most well-developed character left on the show. You know, she's the most likable and uh, invested character left on the show, I think. You know, along with uh, Bjorn and, uh, you know, Floki, maybe. Um, I still think it'd be a mistake for the show to kill Lagatha off at this point, because they already got the death of, uh, you know, Aslog, who doesn't really matter as much, but, you know, he got the death of Ragnar, so I feel like killing off Lagatha this season as well wouldn't really jibe too well. I, I don't know. Um, I know something's going to have to come of the Lagatha and Ivar issue at some point. Um, like they're sort of talking, they might try to look into it or try to do something more about it after they get revenge on King Ayla at least. Um, so they can uh, leave it to Lagatha, you know, to protect the kingdom because she actually knows what she's doing. <laughs> um, or uh, Katsuka, anyway. Um... Like, I don't know, like, uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna do with Lagatha in the, wrong, in the long run, because, uh, her fate, like, in history isn't quite as, uh, clear as, like, Ragnar. Even things about Ra what happened to Ragnar are a little bit sketchy, um, but what happened to Lagatha in the end is a little bit more uncertain. Um, so the show could really do anything with her, I think. Um, but I hope she's around for a while, uh, 
by a hope when she goes down, she goes down in a way that sort of fits her character, not like a cheap shot, or even though it's kind of like the nature of the world, you know, she could be taken down at any time, whether it's worthy of who she is or not. Um, but I just hope whenever she dies, it is worthy of her, and it's like a strong death, like she's uh, wounded fighting or something like that, not just like ambushed and like assassinated by these two jerk offs here. I don't know. <laughs> um, I know some people really like Ivar too, and I, I do think the actor is doing a good job playing him. But it just kind of bugs me how obsessed he is with, uh, you know, uh, taking revenge on Lagatha. I know it was his mother and everything, but it's like he is just blind to everything or every reason Lagatha could have had to kill her, though. But I, I don't know. <laughs> but it was a pretty good episode. I did like when Bjorn showed up and, and interrupted it, you know, saying that if uh, they want to kill his mother, they're going to have to go through him as well. And we know that's not going to happen. <laughs> no way they could take him down. Um, so I like that part of it. Um, they did something weird with Bjorn in this episode, you know, that reveal towards the end that uh, him and Astrid apparently have a thing. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that was a little bit random. Although, maybe he's like Ragnar, maybe he's a little bit too into too many women right now, you know, early on in his life, I don't know. Um, I don't know, it's just like an odd situation. Uh, like, I don't know, I don't think there were really any signs before it, so I don't really know what's going on there, uh, because Astrid's supposed to be Lagatha, so it, it's... I guess you're sleeping with your mother's, like, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> It, it just seems like a little bit of a random uh, reveal, I think. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Um, but I do think Bjorn probably won't let anything happen to Lagatha. Some people have theorized that Bjorn will be the one to, will be the one to kill Lagatha. Uh, like, maybe if Lagatha is injured in, like, a big battle or something, maybe they could have Bjorn put her down or something as, like, a mercy kill or something. Um, and that would still fit the prophecy of the seer saying, well, Ragnar's sons will kill her. Um... Like, I don't think uh, Ivar will just end up killing her or something, hopefully. Um, some people also say that maybe Bjorn will kill her because she becomes a little bit too, uh, I don't know, too Cersei-like with her power, maybe? I doubt that. I don't really see Lagatha you know, going off the rails too much like that. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. It's still kind of unclear. Um, I also did like uh, the stuff between Floki and Ivar in this episode, too. Their banter, you know, how they were insulting each other and you know, they just hug and embrace and stuff like that. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, uh, Floki takes uh, Ivar into this area and shows him a uh, chariot. He's, he's built for him so he can still ride into battle and such. Um, but it's going to be a bad situation if, like, uh, <laughs> if uh, Ivar gets, like, knocked off of that somehow in the battle and then. I, I don't know. But it's still kind of cool, probably make for some cool uh, shots when they do go after Ayla, I think. Um, so that's that's good. Um, so yeah, that's mostly what happened in the episode. You know, like I said, it's mainly a uh, set-up episode, calm before the storm type of thing. It was alright. Um, the fate of Lagatha is getting more and more unclear as it goes. Um, but I, I do think they should keep her alive. You know, I do think she's... Uh, one of the last few like real driving forces behind the show besides avenging Ragnar of course but uh, yeah let me know what you guys thought about this episode I will probably continue to review an episode each week uh, you know for the rest of the season anyway as soon as I can so if you guys enjoyed this video follow me on Facebook Twitter like subscribe I'll catch you guys next time peace